can't get a million dollars by tomorrow. You remember what I said I was gonna be a millionaire tomorrow? It didn't happen. Let me try again. I'm gonna be a millionaire tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna have a million dollars by tomorrow. Like, for real, for real. Okay, good morning. I need to take new headshots. So I just got an email that actually at my studio, the studio that I work at are hosting auditions uh, on, let me look at the calendar, on Thursday and Friday, Thursday or Friday. And I just signed up, I'm gonna do that. I used one of the headshots that I already had. I used this one. <laughs> I mean, for the most part, I feel like I still kind of look like that. I do think I look like a baby in this one because this is probably like five, six, seven, maybe years ago at this point. Um, and the only, I mean, the main difference is I probably look older now and I don't have the beard anymore, but child, they'll be all right. So I just submitted for that just now. And I'm on here actually looking for jobs again because I'm like, girl, like, bitch, I need a job, ho. And it's like, <laughs> I heard back from two people so far. One of them, it was like a breeze. Then I get an email and they were saying because I didn't have one specific experience, they still wanted to try me for a different position um, because they love the screening but haven't heard anything back from them, but they did say that the HR person was on vacation and it would be like a week or two. And I'm like, okay. Um, the only thing with that one was the job is all the way in Pasadena. I really want something remote again. I want multiple jobs, at least um, two. My ideal would be a work from home job and then an outside job, which I know I did get that job at Nordstrom's, but that don't start for like, a couple more weeks but like you know you get laid off typically you get like a severance check and you get um unemployment and stuff like that but my job literally spit in my face like i don't even really want to talk about it like the severance that i received i've never received a severance that low before i literally got one week of pay as my severance <laughs> like any other job i think i've been laid off like twice now or this will be the third time so two other times it has been well, the first time I got laid off ever, I got a full month of pay. The second time I got laid off, I got, hold on, rewind. The first time I got laid off, I got two months of pay. The last time I got laid off in Glendale, that job with that bitch that made me turn into a villain. <laughs> Cause I, do y'all remember that? I'm gonna link it right here, but that job, Oh my God, like when I got laid off, they were talking shit about me because I didn't like open up to them in the office. Like y'all know, like I'm not that social. And I remember the day that I got laid off, I went into my boss's office and I was just like, hey, I appreciate, you know, the opportunity working with you because you know, the your direct manager is never the one to do it. It's always HR. And so I walked in and I was, well, he called me in and I was just like, hey, you know, I just got laid off. It was a pleasure working with you. I'm sorry if, um, you know, my standoffness ever kind of like made you feel uncomfortable or anything. I really just have been going through a lot this past year and I'm just the type of person that I like to stay with within myself. I just like to work and go home. And he was just like, you know, Mark, I completely understand that your work ethic always spoke for itself. So it was never that big of an issue and you would at least always like laugh with us and chuckle with us and give us your little witty takes here and there. Two days later, one of the girls that I was friends with sends me a text message about how the boss is like talking so much shit because they found you on TikTok and he was like, if you would have had that much personality in the, uh, if you would have had that much personality in the office, maybe you would have been able to keep your job. I I did a big group message and cussed they ass out because it was him and the two other people on my team that was Kiki and Kai Khan and laughing and shit. I cut they ass to smithereens. He, I, 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 I was like, okay, yeah, keep my name out your motherfucking mouth from now on. How about that? Clip that in the bud. Um, but that job, I got a month of pay. And now this job, they talking about one week. I got one week severance. And that is crazy. And everybody knows like unemployment is not enough money to sustain in LA. I don't think it's really, well, if my rent was like, 800 maybe it'll be cool but my rent ain't 800 and i got bill bills 
And so I'm trying to like, you know, I'm doing these little things here and there. I'm trying to do a lot of things like to supplement the income, but like I tried to do that DoorDash stuff. That DoorDash shit was not DoorDashing at all. Like I drove 45 minutes to circle, park, get parked, wait to get one $3 order. I'm okay on that. Hang up on you, not in the mood. So I'm trying to just get something because I, I just, I, I got to bounce back, child. I gotta bounce back. I was talking about bills in this economy. So essentially all of my mandatory, mandatory bills are covered, but it's them outsiders. And I don't like, I just don't like feeling paycheck to paycheck. I hate the feeling. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. And I never want to feel like this again. And that's why I want to really focus on trying to diversify my income. And a lot of things that I want to do is kind of making me kind of like, I have to spend money. Like they're, Two main things, really one, but two main things that I really, really, really want to do, but both of them cost to get started. And I'm just like, yes, you're supposed to invest in yourself to believe in yourself, but it's just like, I, 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 all I got is me, myself, and I, and I, 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 I'm a little scared. So I would prefer to have a job where I know all of my expenses are covered than you know, try to invest in some of those things. But now I don't know because if I don't start hearing back something soon, bitch, I don't know. Ah! But I know everything works out in my good. Everything works out for me. I don't... I think I'm more so internally I'm okay. It's just my... My overall is depressed because it's just like I just felt like I was finally in a spot where I was excelling at my job. I was enjoying the job. It was comfortable. Um, I needed to make my money. And that was my immediate mindset. I think I said it in the blog. I needed to make my money anyway. So I'm not too pressed about it, but it's just the, the, the fact I just feel cut off. You know what I'm saying? I'm cut off from making money, it feels like. So I need to be able to just like, get that again so in hindsight what i was saying was internally i have a sense of calmness because i know everything works out for my good in the end and i know that like it's not gonna get too 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 crazy um but my overall is just like it could you know what i'm saying it could get too 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 crazy and the way i'll be feeling is just like this paycheck the paycheck this paycheck the paycheck no uh -uh. and it ain't even a paycheck this unemployment to unemployment to trying to hustle here and there, but not really being able to hustle, hustle, because I would love to be able to do the DoorDash and the Instacart and all that stuff, but it just, it's not him the same here. And I don't know if it's just a, a commitment thing to where I just need to try again. Maybe it's that, maybe I need to try again. Please, if y'all have ever done DoorDash in LA, let me know in the comment section below. Is it worth it for real, for real? How can I get a million dollars by tomorrow? You remember what I said I was gonna be a million tomorrow? It didn't happen. Let me try again, I'm gonna be a million tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna have a million dollars by tomorrow. Like, for real, for real. Mm -mm. I'm gonna have a million dollars by tomorrow so I can invest in all the things I wanna invest in, so I can get some of these certificates and stuff, so I can do these things, things, things. I can pay off all this debt, and I can get my life together. I'm just trying to get myself together! <laughs> <laughs> I love to keep from crying. Bye, y'all. <laughs> I just came from the grocery store. I got some sustenance. It's rotisserie chicken thighs, so I had to get me one. <laughs> Y'all, I had got that rotisserie chicken like maybe two weeks ago. I have been craving it ever since. I haven't been buying rotisserie chickens in probably a long periodically time. Like I don't really remember the last time besides the last two weeks that I had bought a rotisserie chicken. But when I tell you it was rotisserized to the highest degree, I had to get it again, especially for five dollars. Yeah. The savory, <laughs> yeah. Home Chef rotisserie chicken. It smells delicious. See also, I got some eggs. I got some broccoli. I hate this broccoli because, as you can see, even in the photo, it got them little pieces in it. And who be wanting to eat broccoli root like that? But oh well, it was on sale. This was also on sale. Smoky Crunch salad. I got some. Strawberry berries, they were gonna say it. You get the drift. You get the drift. You know, you get the drift. Snossages. Tortillas. 
And this ain't even any type of tortilla. This is carb kind of queso jalapeno. I smell the jalapeno from here. I got some french fries. And I got this little baby chicken salad too. It was on sale for $2. I was like, I'm about to eat this right now. That's what I got. That was your grocery haul. Um, this will probably last me for the next couple days. Because I think I'm going to just start like, I typically... Um, when I had a job, I would just be getting this big, big, big order of food, but now I'm just gonna try to just buy enough for like the next couple days. Now, I will say I do need another protein, but I think the last time, and we can do it together, I'm gonna cut this rotisserie chicken up. I think you do get a pretty solid amount, at least two to three days worth of chicken. At least, I think, three days worth, two days worth. I don't know. I had got the rotisserie chicken the last time. My hyperfixation meal was mayo, fries, and the rotisserie chicken. It's somebody's culture because I've had it before, but I don't know who. And I think something about a peri-peri sauce. I think. I don't know who culture that is. Y'all put it in the comment section below because I ain't take that class. <laughs> Shit like this. This make me want to be a vegetarian because why is this a whole bird right here? Even though it's so delectable, I want to save some of that juice too. Yeah, give me that. Keep it juicy. I need my big daddy knife. Now, I have watched this TikTok and essentially you cut it down the middle. Uh-huh, just like so, like that. Boom. Chicken leg, or you can do the whole quarter. Oh, I'm gonna just finish this off camera because it's playing me right now. I've been trying to cut in this for the last few couple tries, and I know my knife is still sharp because I sliced through that very easily. But yeah, this is what you're working with. I put the juice in this container just so it'll stay juice and moist and stuff like that. And then when I reheat it, I'm gonna just reheat it in the air fryer. Okay, I need it somewhat right. So you get a drumstick thigh, drumstick thigh, two wings. Two breasts. I forgot what I said I was gonna do today, but update, I got invited to go to this screening for this show called Twenties by this organization, by this organization called Queer Aunties or something like that. But essentially, long story short, Lena Waithe has a new show coming out on Paramount Plus and she's doing kind of like a screening and then it's gonna be a talk moderated by this girl I follow on YouTube and follow her on YouTube for a long periodically time. I've been following her for a long time, Jade Fox. I know she has two different channels. I know she has like a styling channel and then she has like her regular kind of like blog talking yada yada channel. And then it's a party after. But I, I low key need to go to class today and the screening is from six to 10. But if I was to leave like around eight, I could get to class by nine because it's 20 minutes away from me. So if I leave, I could, honestly, if I leave, I don't know. I'm trying to do so much. But basically, I'm, so sure I'm going to go to the screening. Um, so, yeah. It's just awkward, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to get back into the flow of, like, vlogging and talking to y'all and stuff like that. But, bitch, I don't be having nothing to say for real. I have been sitting in silence. Bitch, I ain't even no TV on. Like, <laughs> ain't no TV on, baby. I just been sitting here on TikTok scrolling. Um, which is cool. I applied to hella jobs today. I still didn't put my clothes up. When I come back, because I, I don't think I'm going to make it to dance class for real, for real. I'm going to go Saturday for sure. Um, because I work tomorrow, so I can't, I can't, I can't take any tomorrow. Um, well, technically I could. I could take a class before my shift, but I just don't like the idea of being huffing and puffing and then having to sit at the desk and be sweating and hot trying to catch my breath while trying to check people in. That's just not how I roll. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of excited to see what the show is talking about. Um, I Creatively, like, I just, I'm tired of feeling like, I just, what I'm starting to realize, this is what I will say. 
I'm sorry, my brain is going a thousand miles per hour and nothing I'm saying is making sense. I'm stuttering and stammering and everything. I'm sorry, y'all. But what I'm trying to say is I'm starting to realize that a lot of people, a lot of successful people have a knack for other people um, or they at least have beauty or some type of allure and or they're just genuinely good people person, good people people who can chit and chat. And through that, they're able to create opportunities from themselves and i just feel like i might be in a i just i need to learn how to create opportunities for myself when i feel as though i feel stuck because right now that's how i'm feeling i'm feeling stuck and i hate this feeling because i've been here before you can go back on my channel <laughs> the last laid off situation i had i I felt this exact same feeling where one is on me for not diversifying my income. Two is on me because I hadn't committed to the things that I love. Um, three, ain't no rule book to this shit. So I'm just trying to make it. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's where the, the grace comes in. I ain't struggling down that bad. I moved to LA by myself. I've been out here. I've been self-sufficient for a very, 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 very long time. But I just feel like I haven't raised to my potential and it's something called a Saturn's return that I think I'm kind of going through right now um I was listening to Ariana Grande's song and I think it's her grandma or her mom or somebody they were talking about the Saturn return and essentially it's the time in your life where I don't know I don't, I don't really know no too 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 much about it but essentially it's a time in your life where things kind to go in a disarray and if you haven't been living authentically it's the time to and or if you are already in the path i feel like you'll feel just aligned for me right now i'm just all disarray with every situation i can't even talk <laughs> Okay, here's the thing. I don't hate the outfit. It's definitely one of the outfits that I enjoy wearing. Y'all know me. To know me is to know, I'm going to wear my clothes. I'm going to wear them. I'm going to wear them. I'm going to wear them. Um, I want to change clothes. Honestly, I don't feel as confident. Um, especially because it's like a premiere type situation. But I also just feel like being comfortable. And I'm like, I'm not on stage. I'm not walking no carpet. I'm just going to, 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 to see. I'm trying to see what they're talking about. But, I don't know. I kind of want to change. Let me see. Uh, I really don't have time. I don't really have time. This the outfit, I'm gonna just say fuck it. I'm going to queer aunties. Screening, then away. I just, this just feels so street style. This is honestly how I want to dress, honestly. This is like, I'm trying to like visualize like how I would want to show up to dress every day. And it's some type of variation of baggy, but like glam, comfy, street, comfy, casual. Because, you know, I do will switch it up. I do love a button down with like jeans, loafers, boots, turtlenecks. I have a very like comfy bougie, street bougie, street bougie style, I feel like. That's what I would say. And I should have put it in my grill, so yeah. Let me go on and do that. Now we activate We activate I just feel so at Atlanta. Okay. We ready to go. I'll see y'all there. So we're going to the gathering spot. 
LA. I'm in West Adams. I don't really hang out in West Adams. I do come up here. This is where I get tested at. Make sure y'all getting tested. <laughs> yeah, but um, <laughs> it's cute, look. All right. <laughs> see me i hope y'all can see me it's dark in here wait hold on it's still dark in here y'all just ain't gonna be able to see me i'm sorry but anyway y'all the viewing was so good it was so amazing the panel was amazing i should have recorded more within the panel but it was it just felt sacred literally the episode of the show is literally what i'm going through and in essence like it was about essentially someone in their 20s trying to figure it out and it 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 just spoke to to me it spoke to the idea that this is all a part of the plan like sometimes when i be going through shit i be feeling like i'm the only person that doesn't went through it you know what i'm saying and it makes me like double down and i think especially when i start looking around and comparing myself to what other people are doing and it's just like nah bitch like everybody be going through it then y'all will be proud of me i was social i was chilling and chatting with three people yeah y'all know i'll be talking to nobody <laughs> Uh, and then Lena Waithe was literally just dropping gems about how, like, you know, she is an esteemed director now, but she still is a student. And she still is fighting and still having to reinvent herself and still having to understand that in order to be successful, you have to be willing to... <sighs> you have to be willing to continually learn and change your way into the way that is marketable and is sellable and though that sounds crazy and it sounds annoying it's it's needed because through getting in the door you're able to then slowly change the things you're able to show up and put the things that you actually want once you are in the door you know what i'm saying um I, I i just feel inspired i feel inspired to continue to dance i feel inspired to continue to create um and yeah i'm about to go home good night oh my god okay so today has been a long periodically that i didn't go home mind your business so i didn't get back to my apartment <laughs> till today around like 1 p.m. <laughs> and as soon as I got home, I ate and went straight to sleep. I woke up and I think I was telling y'all about I was going to do this audition. And so I did the audition. Then literally I had to go straight to my shift at the studio. Now I'm walking back home. I am tired, boss. Okay. I that was my first well not my first but that was like my third time doing like a self tape but that was my first time having literally less than 24 hours to get it done um they sent over the choreography around three i woke up from my nap at like 
five. So like, as soon as I woke up, I literally had to like jump on it to learn it. Um, I'm not 100% satisfied with the work that I did, but I, I tried my best. I, I, I tried my best because I didn't, I was on the time crunch because I had to get to the studio. So I submitted it, fingers crossed, I'll let y'all know if I hear back. I'm making breakfast tacos, child. I just need some quick, easy, quick, fast, quick, and I'm hurry. I'm trying out the uh, the jalapeno cheddar tortillas I had got. They smell delicious. I just hope the taste is the same. I'm cooking the eggs in the microwave. Don't judge me, judge your mother. So what you do is you just gotta check it and stir it every, I check it and stir it every 30 seconds. I don't know if you can see that. But it ended up tasting like, honestly, it tastes like them eggs that you be getting like from fast food restaurants. It just fluff up really nicely. I don't mind it. I got my sauce in the air fryer. I got my tortillas on the plate. Soon as that finished, I'm gonna pop them in there for like 15 seconds. Then I'm gonna put the sausage in the thing, and then put the egg in the thing, and then I'm gonna eat. I'm tired, boss. My knees hurt. I was talking about it a little bit while I was walking home, but I I was feeling kind of bad about the audition, but honestly, I don't really care. Like, what's for me is for me. I did the best I could. I put it on the floor in the words of auto, and that's all I can do, you know? That's all I can do. I wish I could put it in here. I probably could put it in here. I'll put it in here. Here you go. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. It wasn't my best work. It wasn't my best work. It was quick. Woo! That is hot, come on. That was hot. Hold up. Cause you ain't even have to burn me like that, baby. You ain't have to burn me like that. Okay, so I cooked it a little bit too long that time, but here's the egg. Tortilla in the mic. Just a couple seconds, just a warm up. Okay, that's how the egg look. I think these sausages is done. Okay, yeah, sausage is just done. These are low-carb tortillas. Eggs is protein, and this sausage is protein. So honestly, skinny back, skinny back. <laughs> ah, okay. Finished product. It don't look that good, but let's test it and see. I got it. Now let's rate it one through ten. Hmm. Mm. One more bite. I didn't get no sausage in that one. Let me another bite. Mm. Okay. Okay. Delicious, juicy also. Delicious, juicy also. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> Y'all, I'm sitting here listening to this K trauma, and I'm trying to finally put my clothes together. I'm trying to finally put it up because at this point, I got a whole new load that I need to wash. I got a whole new load that I need to wash. I need to wash these sheets again because what I need to do. How many pairs of sheets y'all got? I only got two. And I really just think I need a third one because I done washed. What I be doing is I just be washing the same sheet. And I realized I haven't been using my other one. This is the other one that I just finally washed because I hadn't washed it. And so 
I'm going to wash my current sheets that I have on the bed and just put them back on the bed. And then this will be my backup again because it's all wrinkly and dinkly. And I don't want to deal with that right now. It, you see how it all twisted up because of how it was in the dryer? It's closed all up in here. Like, I don't know how to prevent that from happening. Y'all be doing that. Holla, get out! Shirts all up in here. So, yeah. My knees hurt from me trying to bust my butt at that audition yesterday uh, when I was recording that cell tape. And I honestly think I have knee brace. I have knee pads. I don't have two knee braces. I need to probably just go get some two knee braces just for additional support. Just because I ain't got time for my knees to be all like fucked up and shit. I ain't got Megan knees. But I ain't never had Megan knees. My knees always been a little, always been a little too chunky to be jumping around the way I have been. And I'm not even going to say that. I just haven't. I just haven't trained that muscle for real. I need to start looking up what specific exercises are good for like strengthening your knees and like your, um, what's the back of your knee called? Hamstrings? All of that. I need to just start working out. Um, did I tell y'all that at that event, um, did I tell y'all at that event I had met this girl and she was on Broadway and now she's a screenwriter for Sex in the City, the new uh, updated rendition. But I talked to my friend. My friend said that they didn't like it, but I don't know. I haven't watched it. I've only seen maybe like a couple episodes. I only seen like a couple episodes of Sex in the City as a whole anyway. Um, but yeah, and she was talking about how one of the things that she did when she was on Broadway, she was doing Pilates every single day in addition to because it was a very good strengthening thing. But she does the reformer. I'm scared of the reformer now. Ah, it's a lot of things I'm willing to do. But getting my big ass on that machine, I don't know. Not right now. So I think I'm going to start doing Pilates. I, I, Y'all remember when I had that note up and I was like, read, do yoga. A routine just don't be routine. So for real this time, for real, I gotta, I'm going to start doing Pilates. I'm going to at least do it twice a week. I'm going to just find a YouTube video and do it in my living room right there because... I do need some additional muscle building support is what I'm realizing because the more I start taking like harder, harder classes, I, I, I think about the fact that like I'm agile, but I'm not that agile. And I notice like one of the things that when I watch back some of my videos from class and stuff that I be noticing is that I just feel like I don't really have strong arms. Like I'm very like, cause as a dancer, I'm very just like flowy. And so, because I'm so flowy, like, hard-hitting stuff, I kind of struggle with. Um, and I think by doing Pilates and, like, strength training, it'll activate that muscle in a sense that I know what it feels like to, like, I can work up the stamina for that muscle to hold tighter and longer and just to be more sharp. I think, in my head, that sound about right. That sound like what I need to do in my head. So, ugh, yeah. Bitch, I still ain't heard back from no job. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Outside of the Nordstrom job that I'm starting. Now, I do got that. But anyway, I don't want to talk no more. I don't want to talk about it no more. I don't want to talk about it. Uh -uh.